while we're talking about how these pretty purple drinks, right? Mm -hmm. Red, white, and blue for the holiday. Have blueberries in it, and it's vodka and ice, and therefore you'd think it's vegetarian, right? Right. You think we think it's, it's vegan, right? Yeah. yeah right, 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 right. Like, it's not, it, you don't know. All I know is you that the know. fruit you soak up the liquor. In, so a lot of people think that wines, beers, and liqueurs are made with grapes and sulfites and, you know, just what else could it really be? Right. But in reality, there's a lot of finding and clarification that goes Go on, the and they use things like gelatin, which is cow's elbows and knees and horse hooves. Oh, what? Yeah. Is in glass, Wait, which whoa, is whoa, fish whoa, 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 Yes, it could be cows, elbows, and knees, and horse hooves. It, you, the finding of age, the finding of wines can have animal intestines in it. Well, maybe that's so. Okay. I mean, ox blood is not a myth. Uh, well, I like ox tail, so if it's got ox blood, but I may so like here's, it. But so here's here's the thing. <laughs> Even if you're not a vegetarian or vegan, I think the consumer wants transparency on what they're drinking. They want to know what's in their glass. Well, let's right. taste it. Well, okay, so this is a wine. This is the Vice wine. What's your vice? This is one of my vices. This is their Pinot Noir Rosé, and their Sauvignon Blanc are all certified vegan by Bevage. And I'm telling you, I um, like this one show. of the attorneys of Bevage, one of the chief attorneys, um, <clears throat> we certify vegan. And... We were recently featured in Forbes and California Wine Advisory as the expert and the leading standard for vegan certification for our beverages. So oh. let's have a cheers to Let's oh, have a yes. cheers. This, is, this to a beverage. So yeah. let me, See Krista, if it's good. Is it good? Yes. Yeah. I have a problem with wine. I can't drink too much wine. It makes me uh -oh. nauseous. Uh-oh. But this right here, this I don't right have here? that. This it's right delicious. I don't have an aftertaste where I'm like, oh, oh, oh. I love it. So we're That's actually great. working on something, and maybe we can have her on as a guest in the future, Lori, the wine coach. Yeah. Mm. She's she's she, like. I yeah. thought you was teasing us with some CB action. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe, but Lori, no, but Lori, the wine coach, <laughs> CB, Christy Brinkley. We're gonna have that next show. We're gonna have not her probably, but we're gonna have the prosecco. We're gonna have the prosecco and the little bambino. Like we're oh, getting the little ones with yeah, the sippy yeah, cups I with our logo those. on it and our logo. Definitely. Next week. Okay, we have to come next back. Next week. Yeah. You have to come back. Where? Right. Yeah. July 6th. I'm booked. She's coming back. She's, she's I'm booked. booked. She's booked. July 6th. That's right. So, yeah. So, but. I like um, it. Welcome back. I was going to say. <laughs> it could be, be T, J, and C. She's going to be here every week. She's going to bring the Seiko. Okay. Hey, every time there's a wine to tell you about that's vegan, I'll let you know. But Lori, the wine coach, she's a master sommelier. She's on the court of sommeliers, and she's been on Dr. Oz and other shows, and she's working with us to tell us and help us figure out which one of our beverages vegan beverages so are you transferring are from delicious criminal defense attorney to i've never vegan? been a criminal defense attorney i was a prosecutor a farm, excuse me oh, and now you can't tell by, she, by her whole put flow you behind in jail and okay. now i do i um Host. do injury law okay and oh. that's what i've been doing and my firm we stand by saying we don't care just about injured human beings we care about all injured beings and that includes animals and that's how we got into vegan Compliance and vegan and what's certification. The name of your firm? Krantz and Ben's Law. And so if you're there? injured or ever in an accident, you can call us. You might as well do your what's own the number? One eight hundred hundred eight one eight eight six six Law one 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 four. Like you four one one in reverse. All right. So where can we find That's the some vice? Dyslexic shit right there. <laughs> <laughs> She's saying reverse. I'm still tripping on the cow knees and elbows. And yes, I'm a host at Long Crime. No, I got some. Uh, I, I'm not even writing nuts, the jokes for nuts. this. <laughs> So, Gene, I need to drink to maintain it all. Okay. Where do we? Where do we find? I need a beverage. Where do we find this? Um, you know this. You? I don't know. It's it's online and stores. Oh. It's everywhere. It's everywhere. Okay. You know, yeah. All right. Um, and how much does the bottle usually cost? Uh, well, this bottle, I think maybe twenty to thirty dollars. All right. And as I said, they certified two of their wines: the Pinot Noir Rosé and the Sauvignon Blanc. Yeah. So you know, there are certified organic vineyards that use sheep and manure and stuff to fertilize the grape You're but that me would totally off but that wouldn't turn into a byproduct of an it's animal not, being we're not even in getting in into the soil of anything we strictly stay with the finding and clarification which 
a lot of these companies, about 50% of them like are doing it and they're not disclosing it and they don't have to disclose it because it's regulated by the Tobacco and Trade Bureau and there's no labeling laws or requirements. That's and I think right. the consumer wants to know what's in their drink. The consumer wants to know. Well, we do we want to know. were saying there's cow nuts in, this, in the wine. <laughs> <laughs> Not in this wine. Oh, really? No, nope, nope. this one's the greatest of them all. It really is. Like, we were talking about, we were during kind of in. During a break. Yes, yeah. during a break. We were in a kind of a, 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 a moment. A banter we were moment. Having a, yeah, we were a having banter. a debate, and then we went on break, and then what she what she did. When Gina? She, she, Gina, she goes, is that really, there's really animal products in it? <laughs> I'm, a I'm a vegetarian. vegetarian. I'm and a guess vegan. what? I'm a lifelong vegan-ish. <laughs> vegan-ish. I, 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 I like, I am vegan, vegan but I don't want to say I'm vegan. But so you just can't turn down that bacon, right? <laughs> yeah, that's the thing. Now and then. Ribs and, bacon? Some bacon. and pork chops and no. shit don't count. <laughs> no, no. I do not eat animals. So no. in the clarification well, and in the Apparently I drink them. <laughs> And I did too until about a year ago when I learned. And this is an education process. People don't know. People think, oh, it's wine. It's fermenting. It's the age of the grapes. It's sulfites. And, and like you said, the soil. We're not even focused on the soil. We're focused on strictly the process, the bottling. So, for example, ingredients might be used like sugar. Certain sugars have bone char. Okay, um, the finding and clarification that they could be using, they could be using uh, betonite clay, kaolin, paper, vegetarian gelatin and instead because it's easier a lot of them or they just haven't changed their age old practice. They're using gelatin, which is cow's elbows and knees and horse hooves or isinglass, which is fish bladder or, you know, the ox blood is not a myth. I'm telling you, uh, crustacean shells is not a myth. All of these things can be trace amounts in your drink. So what, what about, are they doing? Wait, hold on. Okay, they that get is in? disgusting. They what, about kosher gel what about kosher gelatin? Kosher gelatin is made out of fish usually. But, you, hmm. yeah. So that doesn't mean it's vegan. It could be. That's it's true. just And a lot of people don't Better understand vegan. They think, oh, it's organic, <laughs> so it must be vegan. <laughs> it's not. It's totally different. So um, we've certified vegan beverages all over the world. Is this trending? Is this a first time? Is this groundbreaking? What's happening? I think it's groundbreaking okay. because vegan... Vegan is like it, vegan. The vegan movement was on the front page of like the New Yorker magazine recently, and the whole spread. And I mean, the movement's huge. It, it's a trend, and I I don't think it's just a trend that's going to phase out. Statistics say that vegan labeling is one of the biggest investments. I think. And it's not a it's not a scam, right? They put organic, vegan, gluten free. Well, and that's you know? well, that's why you know we add transparency to the process in our third party audits, right? So as a law firm, we understand disclosures, we understand paperwork, we understand representation, we represent, you know, misrepresentation, we understand all that. We're organized and we know how to research and look into ingredients and source ingredients and make sure the source ingredients, you know, come from a certain factory and that that factory can give us a statement that they're vegan. And then we also investigate the facility they use and if there's a chance for cross contamination. And we go into all of that and we have really organized files and really our logo, which I will show you next week on Christy Brinkley's bottles. I can't um, wait for the Prosecco. Can, yes. can, you pour us, can you pour some brothers some wine? I mean, what's cracking? You want more of the vice? You <laughs> already have a vice? <laughs> pour, pour me a glass of that. You're going to miss out of that. Oh, oh, wine. Out of the wine. And right? let, me, and let me just say, I don't work for this company. Okay, oh, I'm okay. not. not well, you know your me. shit, honey. I'm just saying. I'll take a tall they're glass vegan, of vice any so day. So therefore, it's delicious. Okay, it is delicious. Because you know what you're drinking, and what we what we like is sometimes the right decision is the best decision and the most delicious uh, and healthiest. All and right, so, I love it. Pour go, me, I love go, it. Pour go me go some veg. of that nutless so wine. I got a question. Uh -oh. Nothing but the grapes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm reading your you skills, and I would love Passion to right. see how do you write backwards and forward nah, at the same DJ time. Can you do that for real? I really DJ can. I dare okay. you have a special skill. That was a special it skill. It was supposed to be my stupid human trick for Letterman, but he retired. <laughs> yeah, I'm That's sorry. pretty funny. That is funny. Actually, we can do stupid. Wait, wait a minute, Letterman. <laughs> yes, okay. I get it. Is oh, that the, oh, you're really so quick. Good. Is, that, <laughs> is that the lemonade talking or the vice? The, yo, no, I don't know. I still have two glasses I here. Know. You like Carissa, you trendsetter. <laughs> yeah, Bougetti. She's got a new wine. Uh, beverage. You got a new beverage. Beverage, not a beverage. Beverage. Like, let's get a beverage. All right. Five o'clock. My favorite show that's coming back this Sunday.